Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? The term that immediately leaps to mind is tickety-boo. I am doing tickety-boo. Thank you very much. Today on The Big Show, we are going to take a look at Google Drive, kind of the an overarching view of Google Drive. Last week, we posted a video on Google Forms, and it got so many comments uh, that, it, that it caused me to kind of take a step back and say, maybe we should just be kind of giving people an overview of what's in Google Drive, because I bet they haven't looked. And specifically, I want to show you about the template features that are built in. So today on Dotto Tech, Google Drive. Google Drive, the application formerly known as Google Docs, is a free online service uh, that Google provides to you with your Google account that provides word processing, spreadsheets, presentation, forms tools, all for free and stored in the cloud. And all of the applications are actually fairly robust. Now, when we showed you the Google Forms demo in the in the previous uh, in a previous video, I got a lot of comments with people asking me how I got into the template area because I showed you some templates that Google provides and I never really thought about it but there is no easy way to find the templates so that's kind of the genesis of this demo today is to make sure people can understand where to find the templates in the different Google Drive uh, in the different Google Drive apps so that they can uh, so that they can basically access them and, and, and use them to start building whatever document it is they want to create so unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a way to find the templates right from your main drive screen but when you go to create a new document and here we see the types of documents that we can create Google Docs which are word processing sheets which are spreadsheets slides which is a presentation package if we go into the more area we can add drawings we can add forms when we go and we create any of these we click on it and it launches that particular a blank version of that particular document here we've got the Google spreadsheet available to us now how I go to get to the homepage, what they call the homepage for each of the different uh, uh, doc types is by clicking here on Sheets Home. Do you see that little graphic right there in the top left hand corner? That brings you back and it first of all shows you all of your spreadsheets in the bottom part but it also gives you at the very top an assortment of templates that are available to you. And if you click on the more side here, you can see that they've built quite a few different templates that give you a good idea and a good starting point for creating different types of spreadsheets. So for example, if you wanted to create a budget, a monthly budget spreadsheet, you click on monthly budget and that uh, they formatted it with some nice tables and charts uh, and formatted the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the font and the appearance so that you've got a really nice looking document that you can use as the basis for creating your own document and that's really what templates are all about is to give you ideas and to get you started and to get to show you what you can do with any of these different apps so that's the, uh, the the template feature and we can find them for all of the different document types now one of the other document types that we haven't talked a lot about we did a demo on a while back uh, but it seems to be a bit of a mystery as well to a lot of people is the Google slide tool uh, if we click in and create a new Google slide it creates a slideshow for us a presentation tool much like a keynote in the Mac or PowerPoint uh, and you just again if we go to the slides homepage we can see a lot of the different ideas that they have for different formats uh, for for different our templates for creating slideshows and as I look through it there's everything from business type uh, business tools there's a wedding template that allows you to create a, a slideshow I guess that goes in the background uh, for a wedding the one that I was struck me was the book report because when I took a quick look at the book report not only does it give you some graphics and a layout for the book report but darn it all if they don't give you a really good idea of the sort of content that should be going into it if I was in school now and I was doing a book report look they tell you that you've got to do a summary of the book report you've got to set, do the setting the main characters the conflict oh my goodness where were you when I was in school doing book reports it's only 50 years ago, I guess that's why Google wasn't around. Darn you, Google. I had to work so hard to do book reports. Now, yeah, it should be an absolute pleasure. All of these different templates available for all of the different doc types. Now, the other big strength of the Google Drive document format is the ability 
to create a shared version or, or a collaborative version of all of these different tools. When we look at all of the different formatting options and the different in the different uh, actual you know technical capability of each of the applications, they're all fairly robust. None of them are going to do quite what a dedicated application like the Microsoft Office Suite will do. They aren't going to be quite as detailed and quite as powerful as that. But you probably never are going to use the true power of those applications unless you're an absolute spreadsheet nerd or something like that. But if you do need to share documents and you do need to collaborate, which many of us do, all of the Google Docs give us the opportunity to click here and to create a sharing rules for each of the document where we can share it with individuals or if we go into the advanced area here, we can actually get a link where we can share it with multiple collaborators and we can set different rules for sharing. So people who receive this link or are invited to share the document in their own Google Doc area or in their own Google Drive area, excuse me, they will be able to go in and make changes or edit the document or add to the document based on the rules that you give them. So as a collaborative tool where you have multiple people working on the same document, Google the Google Drive solution is 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 just it's tremendously valuable. It really gives us a leg up and allows us to work in that sort of a collaborative environment where the owner of the document still has total control over exactly who can do what to the document. Well, I hope you found this little overview of some of the features of Google Drive today to be valuable. Now, there's three ways to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. First is please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Secondly, subscribe to our newsletter. That way you'll hear about any upcoming trainings, tutorials, or webinars that we might be hosting here at Dotto Tech. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community-funded channel supported through the generosity of you folks at the crowdfunding site Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, take a look, and discover the perks that we provide to patrons of Dotto Tech and those perks would be awesome. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.